That was a lot of useful info. Can I do an arcana check to see if I touch the other gold or the same thing happened? <laughs> uh, sure, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> go 10, 19. Well, you, you think that if you do that, nothing will happen because you've already dispatched the skeletal threat. No, he's just being... Do it. <laughs> well, then there's no reason not for me to take that gold. You quickly gather it up with no repercussions. All right, you're welcome, guys. <sighs> wow. Wow, I'm so glad we brought him back. For now. For now. You're gonna go dance in the uh, ruin circle? No, oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That's what bards do, right? <laughs> Anyone else remember anything cool from history class? Let me see. Nope. 18. 19. Yes, yes. No one. So you get plus four to your roll. 1923 again. Success. Yeah. One okay, more, right? No pressure, but you are now it's one, one success one. Okay. or one, one failure, failure away. One failure. History rolls. I've been doing it. The tension's on. Oh, Will they the do it? That's the kind of drama you get. Will they do oh, yeah, it? 21, actually, with the history. Five. Success. 15. Success, 15. success, success. You get a plus six. Uh-oh. Oh. 13. 14, 19. No. <laughs> that's 19. Just said that. No. 19. No. Okay. Quick, um, get the rest of the gold. Red. No blue. All right. Oh no! You are one point away from glory uh, when a uh, column uh, of fire. I zigged uh, when I should have zagged. <laughs> a column of fire basically fills that area, just sort of going right up to the ceiling. So now there's like a fire shield around this thing, and this appears. Nice. Let's all get in some cold, huh? You can see that in the midst of this rolling ball of fire is the vague semblance of a face. Uh -oh. And it sort of looks at you menacingly and then begins to roll in your direction. Get thee to the clouds! Get to get to the clouds. Everybody roll initiative. I Just love it. once, give me a good 19. initiative. 19. Uh, Ranrock? 20. Uh, 7. 7. 20. 20. 19. Uh, Steel Diamond? 19. 18. 18. Jaundice? 3. All right. Uh, Blue Bell Ladrow, you're the fastest of the guys who rolled 20, so you get to go first. If you get it in a cloud, maybe you can do frozen arrows. Yeah. This appears to be some sort of fire elementally like creature. In six spaces, can I get over here? Let's see. Uh, one, oh, two, this three, one. four, five. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Front line. <clears throat> All right. Um, well, it's only a move for you. You can make a ranged attack if you want to. Let's do a range. With your longer bow. Attack. As you lift your longbow, you see your arrow sort of coated in cold energy. Uh, he's mm. not going to like this. Hunter's Quarry in addition? I'm not yes. exactly sure what this one Hunter's does. Hunter's Quarry is a minor action for you, so you can move, use the minor to make it your quarry, and then attack it. Okay. And all it does is it gives you extra damage when you hit, so you get an extra D6 damage whenever you hit it. So my longbow yep. is a D10. Yep. Plus anything? Plus three. Okay, and then on top of that, roll a, a d6. But right. the first thing you have to do is try to hit it. And Which to is that, my d20? Yeah. All right. Big roll. Ten. Plus, Plus anything? Uh, uh, it's, it's the number right next to where your longbow is in the box. Five. Like Fifteen. Fifteen is not enough to hit it. Mm. The arrow misses and bursts into snowflakes on impact. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kai and Uxin. All right, I can make it to either one, but if I'm going to try and hit that, do I need to be a certain range if I'm going to use like my javelin? Uh, your javelin is, you're well within range to hit it with your javelin. Either one? Yeah. All right. Oh, you're, oh I'm you're already in one. one. You are in one. That, yeah. so, I don't, I, so you can stay where you are. That's that. That's As that you hurl your javelin <laughs> up your skirt. Cold energy. <laughs> Here we go. You're doing like Maryland with it. room maneuvers. Nine. Nine plus... Plus seven. No, no, no. Six. Six. It's 15, not enough. It clatters across the floor. Mm. Uh, next is Steel Diamond. Uh, is that column of flame still doing this? Or yes. Do I have a... No, it is so now. So if I go here, I don't have a line of sight? Uh, you do. The flames are not perfectly solid. It's not like you can't see through them. Okay, so I'm going to so. step here. Ooh, magic stuff. Ooh, it's um, all I'm going to use my once a day stirring shout. All right. Uh, it is a plus five attack with my wand, range of 10. Nice. 2d6 plus five damage. Okay. Make an and, attack roll. And just to oh. tell everybody, uh, until the end of the encounter, the whole encounter, yep. whenever an ally of mine hits the target, that ally regains hit points equal to my charisma modifier, which is plus five. So nice. Sweet. You're, if I hit, you're welcome. <clears throat> wow. All right. So I'm glad you're not dead. This is a plus five. Yeah. 21. 
That is going to hit it. Right. In addition, you deal an extra d6 of cold damage oh, on top of it. Energy, so 3d6 plus yep. 5. Yes. So 4, 7, 11, plus 5, 16 points of damage. Okay. You'll also be pleased to know that this monster has something called vulnerability to cold, which means it takes an extra 5 damage every time it's hit by a cold attack. Mm. So you actually did 21 points wow. of damage. Wow. wow. So now remember, anybody hits this guy, he gets 5 hit points back. No. Yeah. No. Uh, you, they do. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we get. Anyone yeah. who hits it gets no, five not he. points. Right. You. right. Yeah. He meaning we. Okay. He meaning we who is us, not him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, that was steel. Next up is the rolling fireball. Oh, dear. Dun, 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 I should not have taken point. <laughs> <laughs> Go it goes one, two, three, enters your square, mm. four. But it's a cold square. Yep. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. And it will end its movement there. And as it rolls through your square, it makes an attack against you. It also takes some damage. Nice. I'll let you roll that damage. Roll a d6 for me. That's how much damage it takes. Yeah, yeah to the two okay. six. Uh, this is an attack against your reflex defense. Uh, 22. Your uh, reflex defense is on your cheat card there. It's uh, probably oh, less uh, than 20. 14. Okay, he totally hit you. <clears throat> totally hit you. Totally hit you, dude. Uh, he does a total of 9 fire damage to you. Okay. So that comes off your hit points. Now, when he rolled through my square and then I delivered... Six damage points. That's based on the cold. That's so the cold that you're standing. He doesn't in. Get, also get that five vulnerability to uh, cold damage as well. Yes, he does. Sweet. And, and do did, I get an attack of opportunity? And, yeah. Does he get an opportunity attack? As no, well? that's the special ability of this uh, thing. Kind of like the bat. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then uh, next up is that was it. So we are at Ranrock. Who is not standing in a cloud? Wink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys. It's not a this? cold cloud. One, two, three, four, five. Brave. It's called balls. Brave. Okay. Um, and are we pretending I picked up my javelins? Sure. Yes. Back absolutely. <laughs> Ran around. Probably He's mine. Are we pretending <laughs> I went to town and bought healing potions? <laughs> I would like to attack, hit with my javelin, and mark this guy. Okay. Um, Marked for what death. What do you mean, and mark? I can mark someone as a target, and then uh, if they if they try if to they attack, attack anybody else, else they but I might not get it. Gotcha. That might his special That's ability good. might That's negate good. it. But nope. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> a ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's the roll. <laughs> Once again, yeah. I queued myself up for a terrible attack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. Uh, Jaundice. And I'd like to mark it. He doesn't even have to adjust his pen. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six toward that blue cloud. But I'm going to take aim right. at my friend and use my daily power. Uh, area burst one within 20 squares. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the burst right on his head. Um, this is um, an attack versus his will defense. It's a phantom chasm. Um, I create the image of a bottomless cab chasm that opens beneath him, convincing him that they are plummeting to their deaths. So we're getting psychological on him. <laughs> this <laughs> thing might not think. <laughs> <laughs> and I roll a 19 against his will. That hits. OK, and it does 2d6 plus 5 damage. Is this psychic damage? Um, psychic damage, yes. And the target will become prone and immobilized until the end of its next turn. Mm. Mm. So I do four, um, five, six, nine damage. Nice and done. Psychic. All right. Uh, this thing can't really fall prone, oh, yeah. okay. but uh, it is immobilized. Okay. As it thinks it's plunging down into a pit, a pit in its mind. Awesome. Does he get five hit points back for that? Yes, he does. Do I get five? Oh, thank you. No, I had done a healing surge before, <clears throat> okay. but it still feels good. I get just kind of a tingle. Did you do damage? Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was my damage. did. Only well one done. Can be I like cloud the cards. Nice really done. good idea. Yeah, yeah. Blue Bell of the Drow is up. Yeah.